relive exciting moments in gymnastics history at the International Gymnastics Hall of Fame. This city's 45th Infantry Division Museum has exhibits on the state's military history, as well as an intriguing display of items seized from Hitler's bunker in Berlin and his apartment in Munich. This city is also home to the National Cowboy Hall of Fame, and its cattle market is one of the largest in the world. The state capitol building here is one of the few without a dome, but it's the only one with a working oil well on the grounds. In 1889, this area was open for homesteading and 50,000 people lined up to race for a plot of land to call their own. Some snuck over the night before and became known as Sooners, a term that has become part of this city's heritage. What city is it? It's Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. U.S. Army fought the First World War in all-purpose uniforms made of heavy wool. The fabric kept us warm and served us well in Europe. During World War II, action in tropical climates demanded a different uniform and a comfortable, lightweight fabric that could stand up to combat. Herringbone twill, a tough, tightly woven cotton used in commercial coveralls, became the standard. This began the Army's transition towards separate uniforms for service and field. Today's soldier wears a combat uniform adapted to climate and terrain. We've come a long way from the time we wore one uniform for every duty. Uniforms, part of our American military heritage. <laughs> 